Hi, I'm Kelsey Cook here with another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks. We've got Lindsay on the show today. Lindsay, will you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Lindsay Semantic. I'm a system engineer for Cisco Systems. That's awesome. How's uh, Cisco Live going so far for you? It's a fabulous week. It's very exciting, action-packed, and long days. Lots of caffeine. <laughs> Great to hear. Um, are you working on anything exciting right now that you want to share? So I work in public sector and some of the stuff that I do is with K through 12 and I'm specifically working with teachers on flipping the classroom where we use video units like our MX units in the classroom so that teachers can present in front of them on a regular basis and instead of having to like record in a sound room they can record while they're actually doing things. Students can view the videos while they're at home that way they're doing the learning and the listening the passive stuff at home on their one-to-one -one devices so normally they have like iPads or Chromebooks or something so they're doing that at home but then when they're in the classroom they actually have the instructor they get to ask questions and do the homework so it's literally flipping the classroom and the roles so it's exciting because you're seeing learning change and you're seeing students get excited again because now they're using the devices instead of hiding them and using them to like you know get on Twitter or Facebook or whatnot they're using the devices to engage in the classroom which is making it really exciting for them but it's also like cementing the learning and it's giving them more access to the teachers which at the end of the day is what they should be doing. That is super cool. So have you happened to see any stats or know how many schools are kind of trying this reverse classroom idea? So it's something that's coming through the Department of Education. There's a big push. So there are some larger goals. It's based on, and there's a lot of funding behind it right now to try to change this. So for, uh, for example, I'm in the state of New York and our governor recently pushed down an initiative to try to get most classrooms to one-to-one -one initiatives. Um, in the next like five years. They're trying to put loose guidelines around it and give funding because obviously one of the other proponents there or one of the components that you need to use is internet access, which when you're in the more rural districts or when you're in really urban districts and uh, cost is an issue, that's not always something that you can push. You don't want to make something a requirement before it's you know easily accessible. So that's one of the other things I'm working on with my urban and my city school districts is potentially working on public Wi-Fi that's free for students. and. Um, uh, possibly like a small pay per fee on uh, parents so that we can bring internet access, um, accessibility and ease of use to down to the parents essentially and down to the students in our cities where right now it's an issue. That's really cool. It sounds like a great project to be a part of. Yeah. Um, and then I have one final question for you. Um, what are your thoughts around Pokemon Go? So I am not personally a Pokemon Go person, but some of the stuff that I've picked up on it and the whole augmented reality, virtual reality debate is uh, kind of layering it in with CMX and what we're doing on uh, higher ed university campuses is like a reverse Pokemon Go. We're using the students almost as if they're the objects that you're trying to find and they're trying to find places on campus by CMX being able to locate and follow them. We're able to do like advertisements as you would see in a mall. Instead, they're doing it with physical spaces like, hey, here's the library. Today we have study hours or today we have this lecture going on so that they can find their way around campus and get to know more about the campus, helping them feel more at home and feel more connected to their actual campus. That is super cool. You heard it here, heard, you heard it here first. So, well, thank you so much for being on the show today. Um, and we'll be back soon with another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks. Yes.